players in the for-profit market. Everest held out the promise of a bright future to three nursing students. They said that we were going to be making twenty-five dollars an hour and twenty-five to thirty-five. Yeah. They told me, so like, was like how okay. you know you're. And they're going to find us a job. They're going to find us a. They're going to place us because they have a lot of connections and they're big. So I was like, okay, this is a good. This is good. Why shouldn't mm -hmm. we? Why shouldn't we? Huh? <laughs> they each paid almost thirty thousand dollars for a twelve-month program. I got my license in December of '09, and I've been on countless interviews, and um, they all ask if I've ever been in a hospital, and I would have to tell them, we never set foot in a hospital, ever. We went to a museum of Scientology for our psychiatric rotation. Our pediatrics rotation, we went to a daycare. Oh yeah, that was our peds. We went to a daycare. <laughs> Despite graduating and getting licenses, all three women have since struggled to find jobs, claiming they didn't have the right training. In fact, they were given no practical experience in hospitals, as they say they were promised, only in nursing homes and health clinics. We asked Corinthian colleges about this. They responded by letter, stating that the nurses' course provided thorough and appropriate training, and that students were fully informed that sites were subject to change at any time. The women want their money back, and along with 10 others in their class are considering a lawsuit.